You are welcome to solve this nice exponential equation, which is 5 to power x times 5 to power x, this is equal to 40. What is the value of x? Solution from here. We have that this exponential equation is in the form of 8 to power n times 8 to power m, which we can express as 8 to power n plus m. Now, applying this property, then we have that 5 to power x plus x this is equal to 40. So this is the same thing as 5 to power x plus x, which is 2x. This is equal to 40. To solve for x from here, we apply logarithm on both sides. That is rog 5 to power 2x. This is equal to rog 40. So rog 5 to power 2x, this is in the form of rog a to power n, which we can express as n rog rog a. Now, this is the power root property of logarithm. Let's apply this property. So log 5 to power 2x becomes 2x rog 5. This is equal to rog 40. So let's divide both signs by rog 5. Rog 5. And this implies that rog 5 and rog 5 simplifies. So that you have 2x is equal to rog 40 divided by rog 5. We can express 40 as 8 multiplied by 5. So we have 2x. This is equal to rog 8 times 5 divided by rog. 5. So, rog 8 times 5, this is in the form of rog a times b, which we can express as rog a plus rog b. Applying this property, then we have 2x is equal to rog 8 divided by rog 5, then plus rog 5 divided by rock 5. So this implies that rock 5 and rock 5 simplifies, so this is equal to 1, and therefore we have 2x is equal to, this is 1, plus, now here we have rock 8, divided by rock 5. So we can express 8 as 2 to power 3, so that now here we'll have 2x, this is equal to 1 plus rog 8, which is 2 to power 3, divided by rog 5. So rog 2 to power 3, this is in the form of rog a to power n, which we can express as n rog rog a. Applying this property again, then this implies that we have 2x is equal to 1 plus rog 2 to power 3, which we can express as 3, rog 2, divided by rog 5. So rog 2 divided by rog 5, this is actually in the form of rog A, divided by rog B, which we can express as rog A to base B. Let's apply this property. Let's apply this property. So that now we have 2x, this is equal to, 1 plus 3 rog 2 to base 5 and therefore the next step is to divide both signs by 2 so that now we simplify here so that the value of x here is equal to half plus 3 over 2 rog 2 to base Five. So since a half is common here, we can factor out a half so that you have a half into the parentheses. This is one plus three rog two to base five. This is the value of x. This is the value of x. Let's verify that this value of x satisfies the equation. Let's verify. 
Now, if you recall, if you recall, we entered 5 to power x times 5 to power x. This is supposed to give us a value of 40. So we have that 5 to power x times 5 to power x. This is in the form of 8 to power n times 8 to power m, which we can express as 8 to power n plus m. So applying this property, this implies here we have 5 to power x plus x. This is supposed to give us a value of 40. So this essentially implies we have 5 to power 2x. This should give us a value of 40. Okay, so let's substitute the value of x. So we have 5 to the power 2 times x. x is actually a half into the parentheses. 1 plus 3 rog 2 to be 5. Now, this is supposed to give us a value of 40. Let's simplify here. 2 and 2 simplifies so that we have 5 to the power 1 plus 3 rock 2 to base 5 this is supposed to give us a value of 40 now 3 to, 3 rock 2 to base 5 this is the same thing as 5 to power 1 plus rock this is 2 to power 3 actually this is the power so that's why we have here 2 to power 3 to base 5 this is supposed to give us a value of 40 so we have 5 to power 1 plus rock 2 to power 3 to base 5. This is supposed to give us a value of 40. Now, this is actually in the form of a to power n plus m, which we can express as a to power n times a to power m. Applying this exponent property, then here we have 5 to power 1 times 5 to power rock 2 to power 3 to base 5. This is supposed to give us a value of 40. So we have that 5 to power of 2 to power 3 to base 5. This is in the form of m to power of a to base m, which is supposed to give us a value of a. Applying this logarithm property, then 5 to power of 2 to power 3 to base 5. This is supposed to give us a value of 2 to power 3. And 2 to the power 3 in this case, this is the same thing as 2 times 2 times 2. And this is actually equal to, this is the same thing as 8. So let's substitute this. So we have 5 times 8. This is supposed to give us a value of 40. So let's check. Let's check if this is true. So 5 times 8. This is actually equal to 40, and this is equal to 40. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that the value of x, which is actually equal to, which is actually equal to a half into the parentheses, 1 plus 3 from 2 to base 5, actually satisfies the equation so can you refer the steps like this video and subscribe please like and subscribe